Just as life seems to get back to normal to virtually no COVID restrictions, cases are once again on the rise. But attitudes seem to have changed a bit. KPX 5's Max Darrow is on the peninsula to explain. COVID is starting to make a bit of a comeback here in the Bay Area, but the response this time around is a little bit different from both people who live in the Bay Area and from some health experts. Life in the Bay Area these days is about as close to what many would call normal as it has been in a very long time. I know we're not out of the woods yet entirely, but uh, yeah, this is this is refreshing. It feels like the two years didn't even happen, but I think we've kind of adapted to it a little bit more. Adapted to the point where many folks aren't all that concerned that COVID cases have slowly but steadily ticked up since mid-March. Not really. I mean, I think there's always going to be another variant of some kind. I think uh, folks' attitudes have changed about it in terms of uh, maybe not being as fearful about it. In San Francisco, the test positivity rate has climbed up to above 5%. UCSF infectious disease experts Dr. Peter Chin Hong says it could be even higher than that since a lot of people are using at-home test kits. However, he did not want to classify what's happening now as the beginning of another surge. Because we have a very dramatic decoupling so far between what we see in the community and what we see in the hospitals. These cases have been going up for some time and we still haven't seen a big impact in the hospital. I think two weeks would give enough time to make sure that that lag won't be reflected in the hospitals. He believes what we're experiencing now is similar to what an endemic phase will look like, but he feels it's too early to say we're at that point just yet. Because it's not predictable what the next new variant will do long after this recent BA1 surge followed by BA2. It's like one, two, which is very different from punch, wait a while, everybody's immunity goes down, and then punch again. The doctor's advice, don't be afraid, but engage with life responsibly. Community-wide, COVID is still here, and it's infecting people every day. I kind of struggle with how there are a lot of people who are just kind of over it. To Ann Schreiber, that means keeping the mask around for herself and for those who are immunocompromised or at higher risk of getting really sick. I'm just going to continue being cautious because it's still COVID. It's still more serious than getting a cold or the flu. Max Darrow, KPIX 5. In Oakland, a city council member plans to introduce legislation in May that would end the proof of vaccination requirement in places like bars, restaurants, and gyms. However, it would make face masks mandatory at large indoor gatherings of 1,000 people or more. Well, if you've got a meeting scheduled at San Francisco City Hall, do we have good news for you? Starting on Monday, masks will no longer be required in public meeting rooms. City had dropped masking requirements in city-owned buildings back in March, but they did keep the requirement for meeting rooms. No more. But they may reinstate the masking requirement depending on numbers.